Welcome to the first episode of Comsbrief Telecom Basics. In this video series, we'll be talking about the most basic telecom terms in the simplest possible way. I'll try to keep things simple, but if something is unclear, do let me know in the comment section below and I'll try to explain it right there. Today's topic is, is it a cell phone or a mobile phone? As a phone user, or let's say as a smartphone user, you may have come across these two terminologies, cell phone and mobile phone. And you may wonder, what's the difference between these two? Is there a technical difference or is it just a terminology thing? So basically, why would someone call the smartphone a cell phone? And why would someone else call the same device a mobile phone? In this video, we will clarify exactly that. In order to understand the difference, we can look at it through two different lenses. So one is a terminology lens and the other is a technology lens. Looking at this topic from a terminology angle first. The term mobile phone is more common in the UK, whereas the term cell phone is more prevalent in the US. So the countries that adopt the UK communication style may prefer the term mobile phone, and those more inclined towards the US style may use the term cell phone. Both of these terminologies are correct, there's nothing wrong with either one of them, and you can choose whichever one you prefer. So that was the terminology aspect. Let's now look at the technology side, which is a lot more interesting. So let's have a look. From a technology perspective, the reasoning behind the terms mobile phone and cell phone is that a mobile network is also called a cellular network. So the real question here is why it is called a mobile network and why it is also called a cellular network. A mobile network consists of a large number of base stations. Base stations are these tall masts you see in towns, cities, and motorways, or highways or freeways as you may call them elsewhere. These base stations transmit and receive signals to create a mobile network coverage around them. However, the coverage is limited to the reach of a single base station. The coverage created by a base station is the building block of the overall mobile network coverage consisting of many base stations spread throughout towns, cities, and countries. The coverage area of a single base station is called a cell, and this cell is the building block for the overall mobile network coverage. In other words, a mobile network consists of many cells spread throughout towns, cities, and countries. This cellular architecture is the reason this network is called a cellular network. But what about the mobile bed then? Let's come to that one now. The network of cells enables mobility for a phone user because when a phone user moves around, for example, driving from one location to another, they don't want their call or data session to be dropped. With a cellular architecture, the network can hand over the call or data session from one cell to another. That way, as a phone user, you can move around as much as you like and in any way you want to be fully mobile without worrying about leaving the network coverage areas. Well, of course, sometimes you have to worry about the network coverage because your mobile operator is not always the best. But the bottom line is that you can call your smartphone a cell phone or mobile phone. It doesn't really matter. And both of these terms are technically correct. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe. If you'd like to download some free telecom stuff, the link is in the description.